So after the creation of the bw underscore hmi dot csv file from the uh, memory map generator, we've copied that file and brought it into our simplicity box. So the goal is to input this um, import this uh, CSV file um, and created objects and 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 points associated with that uh, with the Broadway pump station. Now, prior to the import, we want to double check that there's nothing associated with the uh, Broadway pump station is already in the system. So to check that, we go ahead and do a search and type in BW with the wildcard and click OK and and as you can see, the search result is, has nothing uh, brought up as far as the object is concerned. So we're going to do the similar thing with the, with the points. Um, and then we're going to do a search for BW and then uh, star. So as you can see, the result is empty. So at this point, we know that there's nothing associated with Broadway pump station is in the simplicity system right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to import the CSV file that was created by the memory map generator. And we're going to import everything associated with the Broadway pump station. So we go ahead and go to the um, our project browser or the project tree view on the left hand side of the simplicity workbench. And we're going to select object import and export. We're going to double click on object import and export. And we make sure that the import radio button is selected. And then we're going to click the ellipsis button. And we're going to browse to the CSV file that we've just created. And so we're going to say open. And then we're going to say OK. At this point, Simplicity will import all the objects that is associated with Broadway Pump Station into Simplicity Workbench. As you can see, it shows you what objects is currently being imported and the percentage complete. So in a minute, um, we'll be we'll create all the objects that is required for this uh, pump station. The memory map generator also allow you to select point base, which if you chose not to use the classes and objects for simplicity, you can generate a CSV file that's just based by point, um, which will have the same effect apart from the fact that we are not utilizing the powerful functionality of uh, simplicity objects and classes. Um, 26%. So in the background here that not only does it import the objects, but it's also created the point associated with that objects. So we're about halfway done. And um, once we get done, we will show you how many points that it actually generated and how many objects is are actually generated and how we would use that objects and to um, tie to our HMI screen. As you can see, there's quite a few objects associated with this pump station and um, you just have to be patient with it. Tap on a successful import. It will have an import summary showing you. Object created at 172 and then object modifier is 0. So therefore, total objects imported is 172 objects. So we're going to go back to the objects and do the search again for Broadway pump station. As you can see, that concur with our last screen saying that it's 172 objects imported. Here's the valve 
objects His, here are the pumps objects um, and then if we go to point and we do the same thing as you can see importing the um, CSV file has automatically it's automatically generated um, over 500 points um, for those objects so when we modify the screens because this is an objects in class oriented uh, pr project so up on sim edit we double click on the pums object that we created and we simply type in um, the object names for example this is pump number six and voila all the information will get populated into that object same for number five number four number three and so forth and so on as you can see this is an easy way of tying everything back together to the memory map generator say this pump station we're gonna go ahead and add another pump to it uh, pump 7 we go back to our memory map generator you, we add pump 7 to it and then we input import that input the objects into simplicity tie the name of the pump to the new pumps tie the name of the valve to the new valve and we're done with the um, HMI development and the corresponding uh, PLC CSV file will get imported into concept and pump seven points will get imported into concept and therefore there's one central location where you have all the information uh, for the scaling um, the pump signals the valve signal they're all in one place where your IO will never get messed up because you always originated all your points or all your objects and all your objects for simplicity and for PLC from one file is that memory map for that particular pump station that keeps everything consistent and doesn't have um, minimize the rooms for error.